Hey friends, tonight I am dining at Boma. I'm super excited. This is my first time actually coming here. And I'm actually with Gracie and her family, so it's gonna make it even more special. So, let's go do this. Before we get to Boma, Gracie is actually getting something customly made for her. Look at that. He's putting his name right at the bottom of it. Suma, that's your friend. That's Gracie's friend, Suma. <laughs> Look at that. Suma 2020. That's cool. Thank you very much. We are all checked in, and now we're just going to wait for our time. And I am hungry. I'm going to do some damage here. Boma better be ready. <laughs> While we wait, I might as well give you a little overview of Boma itself. The word Boma is actually a Creole style fence made of sticks, which makes it kind of interesting because you always see this in the background. I never knew that before. They don't actually have a menu since it's an all you care to eat buffet, but they did give me the allergy guide and it shows basically everything that's offered on the buffet and that is a lot of food. We've got barbecue ribs, we've got chicken, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, chicken bites, rice, coconut curry, chicken stew. Actually, I see a lot of stew and soups, and that's good. I like soup. And now we're ready. Let's go eat. <laughs> She's leading the way. <laughs> wow, look at this place. It's really, really beautiful in here. Now, from what I hear about Boma, it is that the soups and stews are phenomenal. So, even though it's a buffet, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself some soup and stew to start out with. Traditional dining. A look at the soups and stews. We have Cape Mary lamb curry, carrot ginger soup, coconut curry chicken stew, and uh, some seafood stew right here. Wow, all of it looks Pretty delicious. I think I'm gonna go with the coconut curry. Oh yeah, I added a little rice to it too. I love rice in my soup. It's always my favorite. What'd you get? Coconut curry? Me too. Yeah, the chicken curry. What'd you get there? It looks like, oh, that's the squash soup, isn't it? Yeah. This looks so good, doesn't it? Wow. And the rice, that really does a good trick. And we got a visitor who actually brought Gracie a little gift. How awesome is that? You don't know how much it means. You spent almost three weeks here with us. And I hope you had a great time and a magical day. And I have something for you. Okay? I think you love it, <laughs> All right, I think this is the one you wanted. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> Seriously, though, that is why I love Disney World. Like, that was a manager from uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I think that was so special of her. She came and brought Gracie the stuffed animal that she wanted. On a side note, that chicken curry soup was the best soup I've ever had. Thank you. Before we get more soup, I might as well show off my Magical Star cocktail. I got it because of the glowy ice cube. Very fancy. I want to actually try other soup, but on the other hand, I just love that chicken soup. That coconut curry chicken stew is probably my favorite stew I've ever had. But maybe I'll come back because I went with the lamb stew now. Look at that, nice big chunk of lamb right on top. Oh boy, this is going to be good. It was really delicious, but the chicken stew, way better. Wow. Soup is out of the way. Now let's get in line for the buffet. Huh? You like that? So much to cover, so I'm going to try to do this by station. Obviously, we got some salmon right here. 
And then we got some babuti. I don't know if I said that right, but it sounded cool. And that's a South African dish with ground beef, mushroom, and eggs. Maybe I'll try that. And we might as well get some fufu too, which is basically Western and Central African sweet and white potato mash. Oh yeah, get in there. Next to the boo-boo tea. Then we got ribs, turkey, and oh, a strip loin. I'm gonna do some strip loin. Look at those ribs though, oh yeah. And lots of different sauces too. I grabbed a rib while I was there as well. But now we've got some rotisserie chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy. Look at that. Oh boy. I'll take that. And oh, well we got the fufu. So we'll come back for the mashed potatoes later. Now we got plantains, broccolini, sweet corn and spinach pudding, peanut rice with coconut, soy sauce and ginger, and uh, couscous. Oh, some couscous. I'm gonna try a little couscous and peanut rice with coconut, soy sauce, and ginger. And for the kids section, we got carrots, peas, and corn, marinara meatballs, some penne, some mac and cheese, and some chicken bites. Thank you. Nope, I'll take you right now. And a meatball. <laughs> Whoop. What do you think? That's a healthy big first plate, huh? <laughs> and I learned that it was pretty close and it's bobo tea, which I'm gonna give that a go, first thing. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this since I don't like eggs, but. Hey, very good. I'm one for one on strange things I've never eaten before. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> now, some fufu. <laughs> Gracie, are you laughing at the names? <laughs> some fufu? <laughs> That's what it says. I hope I'm saying it right. Fufu? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here goes fufu. <laughs> I actually think I got some couscous on my fufu. <laughs> yep, got a little couscous on my fufu. That was pretty interesting. Mixed well. <laughs> now that we've experimented with some foods that I've never had before, maybe we'll try something a little bit traditional. Say like a meatball. was good chicken nuggy might be better so the chicken the chicken nuggy or the chicken bites it tastes like regular chicken but it doesn't taste like Disney's regular chicken nuggets it tastes different somehow I don't know why huh. Gracie is an expert in chicken nuggets and she said I'm right they do taste different right hmm good to know <laughs> now a little bit of that peanut rice that was in soy sauce with ginger, right? It is delicious. Wow. Instead of showing you bite after bite after bite, it's gonna basically sum up what the rest I had on my plate. The actual strip loin was delicious. It actually had a very like fiery taste to it, like it was cooked on an open flame. But also the rotisserie chicken has lots of little bones in it. So watch out, the first bite that I did, I ate a big bone. It is what it is. And I'm excited to try the ribs. As you can see, a job well done. And uh, not a lot of it on my clothes, but the fufu is the most that I'm leaving on the plate only because it does have a little sweetness to it, and I'm not ready for dessert. More stew first. Round two is all about the things that really stood out for me. So I'm gonna get all my favorites, except for the stew. I'm getting a whole bowl of that. But I wanna mainly get the things that I love. Definitely gotta get some more of that strip loin. I don't mind you. 
Is that cooked over an open fire? Yes. Oh. It's cooked back here. Really? It's cooking right there, huh? Oh, right over there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a log. <laughs> I thought that was the loin. No, it takes about four to five hours almost. Four to, four to five hours. Yes, because we are. You can tell. And then we also do the well done back there. Oh, I like it. I do want to try the regular potatoes though, so we'll put a little bit there and also a little bit of the gravy because the gravy looks really good. Yes, yes. Definitely more peanut rice. Bum, bum, bum. And the couscous. But most importantly, the coconut curry chicken stew. That was the stuff right there for me. Oh yeah. Oh, it's over here. Wow. What's the yellow plate mean? Well, the other plates are white. These ones are yellow or blue. Oh, wait. Plastic. Glass. Smart. What'd you get? Ah! <laughs> What'd you get? No, I'm hot. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> Not sure if this counts as a round, but I think it's time to get some desserts. And you know I'm getting some zebra domes. Now the zebra domes I've had before because I got them at the quick service location, but this is my first time having Boma zebra domes. Chocolate banana bread pudding and malva pudding. I don't even know what that is, but it looks good. Ooh. A little spicy, huh? I like it. I'll take some of that. Thank you. And then uh, some of uh, that. Oh, yeah. Then we got some coffee tarts, zebra domes, and coconut mango chocolate tart. Bum. 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 This is chocolate. You will like it. Bum. <laughs> Brownies, cupcakes, Oreo cheesecake, passion fruit tart. Oh boy. Gonna try the passion fruit tart. Oh no, I dropped it. There we go. And I guess an Oreo cheesecake. Ooh. And I promise you, I am not gonna waste any of those zebra domes. <laughs> I'll get you another one. She snatched the zebra dome off my plate. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh yes, zebra domes, what I've been looking forward to the most. Much too good for children. So, I just quickly ate all the zebra domes. Now I'm gonna try this pudding. They said a little bit spicy. Oh wow. Okay, very interesting. What the heck? <laughs> Those won't be wasted either. <laughs> Since she actually brought over a plate, I feel like I'm forced to actually eat them. Can't let them go to waste. And the actual pudding right here I had a little rough time with it and I couldn't I couldn't really understand what I was tasting there but Gracie said toffee and she's right I could taste a little toffee the pudding is pretty good not too bad I didn't try a piece with all the vanilla cream on it yet though <laughs> I will be honest I don't think the desserts are a lot to ride home with, except for the zebra domes, the bread pudding, the South American pudding, and probably the other tart. But the mango tart, not so good. And I didn't like the Oreo cheesecake one either. All the other ones are fantastic. Now, a lot of people want to know what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to cut open a zebra dome so you can take a peek see. And that's what we got right there. I like it. It is so delicious. Back to the zebra dome business. And I think it's time we head out.
<laughs> Worst part is the walkout. I am so full. Like seriously. <laughs> it is. Oh. And with that, I think I am done here today. Gracie's got to get up and go to bed. So do I. I am full and I am tired. But overall, amazing. I absolutely love Boma. Definitely a very good food experience. Not like your normal buffet here at Disney World, which I kind of liked a lot. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.